Earlier this year, the nation was captivated by a Chinese spy balloon drifting across North America. Turns out there's more, or is it less, to that story than meets the eye. David Martin takes us behind the headlines. It was surely the most bizarre crisis of the Biden administration. America's top-of-the-line jet fighters, seen here in routine training, sent up to shoot down, of all things, a balloon. The balloon is completely destroyed. A Chinese spy balloon floating across the United States. In your airspace espionage that had the nation and its politicians in a tizzy. I am so angry. I want to use other words, but I'm not going to. Now, seven months later, General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, tells CBS Sunday morning the balloon wasn't spying. The intelligence community, their assessment, and it's a high confidence assessment, uh, that there was no intelligence collection by that balloon. So if it wasn't collecting intelligence, what was it doing over the United States? Why was it over the United States? There's various theories. The balloon had been headed toward Hawaii, but the winds at 60,000 feet apparently took over. At altitude, those winds are very high. Uh, the particular motor on that aircraft uh, can't go against those winds at that altitude. And at least one leading theory is it was blown off track. Over Alaska and Canada, and then down over the lower 48 to Billings, Montana. I just happened to notice out of the corner of my eye uh, a white spot in the sky Citizen uh, photographer Chase Doak still, recorded it from his driveway. I, of course, landed on the most logical explanation that it was an extraterrestrial craft. <laughs> he had studied photojournalism in college. Took a photo, took a quick video, and then I grabbed a few coworkers just to make sure that I wasn't seeing things and had them take a look at it. You'll probably never take a more famous picture. No, I don't think I ever will. <laughs> He tipped off the Billings Gazette, which got its own picture, and he told anybody who asked they could use his free of charge. I didn't want to make anything off of it. I thought it was a national security issue, and all of America needed to know about it. As the U-2 spy plane tracked the 200-foot balloon, Secretary of State Blinken called off a crucial trip to China. China's decision to fly a surveillance balloon over the continental United States is both unacceptable and irresponsible. The president ordered the Air Force to shoot it down as soon as it reached the Atlantic Ocean. What were the orders? To shoot down a balloon six miles off the coast. Colonel Brandon Tellez planned the operation. This previously unreleased video shows his F-22s taking off for the mission. On paper, it looks like this colossal mismatch. Mm. One of this country's most sophisticated jet fighters. Yes, sir against a balloon with a putt-putt motor. <laughs> yes, sir. Was it a sure thing? Uh, sir, it's a sure thing, no doubt. It would have been an epic fail. Yes, sir, it would have been. But if you would have seen that you know, first uh, shot miss, there would have been three or four right behind it that ended the problem. Did you have a plan B in case the air-to-air uh, -air missiles didn't work? Sir, we had a plan Z. You were ordered to engage. But it only took a single missile which homed in on the heat of the sun reflected off the balloon. Frank one. After the Navy raised the wreckage from the bottom, technical experts discovered the sensors had never been activated while over the continental United States. By then, the damage to U.S.-China relations had been done. This silly balloon that was carrying two freight cars worth of spine equipment was flying over the United States and it got shot down and uh, everything changed um, in terms of talking to one another. So bottom line, it was a spy balloon, but it wasn't spying. I would say it was a spy balloon that we know with high degree of certainty got no intelligence and didn't transmit any intelligence back to China.